What's up guys, this is Tyler with Candlelit Crime Scene here with another tutorial. This one in response to a question from Kosi Bart 94 They were just having a little difficult with text. It wasn't animating the way they wanted it to, so I just made a quick tutorial trying to explain the basics of how to do it. Alright, so I'll show you first off what we'll be creating and then I'll go through it uh, quickly but in enough detail that you'll understand without hopefully getting too lost. Bam! What up? And we'll go ahead and begin now. So if you haven't already, go ahead and go to File, New, and left click on New Project. So now that you're in the After Effects stage, go ahead and go up to here to Composition. Left click on that and click on Composition. For this composition, we're going to go ahead and call it Text. Now again, that does not affect the project in any way. All it does is help you organize your project. Right now I have the width set to 1280 pixels and the height set to 720. Feel free to adjust that in any way you want, but if you want to follow along and get exactly what I will have on my screen, the pixel dimensions are 1280 by 720. Go ahead and keep the frame rate at 30, and I'm going to drop the duration down to about eh, 3 seconds. And we'll keep the background color to black. Go ahead and left click OK, and we'll begin. Now that we're in our project, you can go down here, or actually we'll go up to Layer, go down to New, and click on a new solid. So now that we're beginning our new solid, we're going to go ahead and call it Solid 1. And we'll keep the width at 1280, the height at 720. And for the background color, feel free to choose whatever you want, and you do that by left-clicking the color you see, and picking any color from the color spectrum. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and keep what I had, and then I'll go ahead and click OK on that. Now we have our first solid. As you can see, it fills up the entire screen. So in order to get it to whatever size you want, so you can go ahead and find one of the little red dots, which you'll see uh, going around the perimeter of your newly established rectangle solid, and click the middle one. Go ahead and left click that, and it'll bring it into a size such as that. All right, so now we have our first solid down there. The next thing we're going to do is go up here to Layer, New, and click on Text. Okay, so for the text I had last time, I'm just going to go ahead and type in, again, whatever you want, but I'm going to go ahead and type in, what up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what up? And I will go ahead and go up here to the Selection tool, left-click on that, and bring my what up down to where I want it to be. And over here on the right, You'll see mine says 203. I'm going to adjust that a little bit just so you can see what it does, but that, that's just your font. So you can fit your font to whatever shape or size or however you want it to be by left clicking and scrolling left is going to make it smaller, right makes it larger, or you can click, double click into it and type the exact font that you want. But for now, I'm just going to left click and drag it down just so all the borders match up. All right, great. So the first thing we're going to do is edit the word itself. So we have our text layer highlighted here. If you go ahead and find this arrow to the far left, click on that. It's going to drop down. You'll see the words text and transform. Go ahead and click on transform. And the only thing we're going to do for now is mess with position. The second thing we'll do is scale, and we'll do that in a little bit just so you can see. I think the exact question was how to make a word go from larger to smaller and have it save. But the first thing we're going to do is make it move from left to right on the screen. As you can see now in our timeline, nothing is happening. It's completely static. All right, so go ahead and, and we're going to scroll out to about whatever this 10th, the, the 10th frame. All right. And click on position because we want the word to end up here. In fact, I'm going to move it over just a little bit. And in order to keep it on the same plane without it going around like this, trying to line it up, we're going to hold the left click button down so your arrow will turn black and then hold down shift so it stays perfectly straight. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move it over there. So that's where our frame is going to end. Still, it does nothing until you go over to the first frame of your project. And for this position, we're just going to left click till the arrow turns black, hold down shift, and move it over to the far left. Bring it fairly far over because when we adjust the scale, you'll see where it makes it easier to plan now. Alright. So now you'll see it just flies in. Okay? Awesome. The next thing we want to do is check out our scale. So though we have 100 right here. Go ahead and left click to add a keyframe to the final 
where it's going to end up, the final part. And then we're going to bring it back to frame 0, the first frame again. Okay, So we have keyframes set on the 10th frame for both position and for scale. And on the first frame of the project, all we have is position located to the far left of the screen. Now we're going to change the scale up. And you can do that a few ways. The way I'll show you is just by going right here where it says 100. If you left click and hold that, you'll see the outline box or the outline of our text is just getting larger, right? Okay, because I'm increasing the scale and I'm doing that just by left clicking, holding it down and dragging it to the right. And you can drag it to the left to make it smaller. And you see the reason we want it further over is so it doesn't bleed in without us having to adjust it. We can just line it up right there so it's right at the border. You barely can't even see it. Awesome. So now we have the 246. That's the exact number I have. Feel free to change yours however you want. So now you'll see when you scroll across the numbers or the letters are going to fall down to 100 where you had it initially when you created the keyframe. So here's left to right, there's our animation. So the last thing we want to do is adjust the solid, okay? Again, we're going to left click this down arrow and you'll see the word transform pop up. Go ahead and left click on that and you'll see the word position. So go ahead, left click that and this is where you want it to end up, right? Usually I like for my bar to come in a little earlier than my word. So I'm going to take the same keyframe that we just created and move it over just a little bit to the left. All right. So we want it to end up here just before the word gets there, just to add a little bit of character to it. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to scroll over to the first frame. We're going to go ahead and create uh, another keyframe. But first, let's go ahead and left click and drag it over to the left hand side of the screen. And this you can put fairly close. We're not going to adjust the scale on this one. I think you get the idea by using the word. Okay, so we got over in the position. So now we, that, you'll see that the keyframe was automatically generated. Great. So now here's our animation. Great. I'll go ahead and hit space for so you can see. Very fast. You can slow it down by spacing these out. Just like so. So now it'll be a little bit slower. All right, great. The last thing you saw was to add a little bit of layer style to the word, highlighting the word, going up here to layer, and coming down until you see the word layer styles. If you're familiar with Photoshop, it's very similar to that that you'll use on layers within Photoshop. It gives you the same drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, all that kind of stuff. All I did was simply click inner shadow. You can go into that and edit it any way you want. If you'll see, you have transform, we'll go ahead and close that layer styles that was created. You can left click on this arrow and really go in there and fine tune it if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it at what we had before. Or five. Just for simplicity's sake. Alright? And that's going to be it. That's all it takes. As you can see the word goes from larger, comes all the way down to solid, or comes all the way down to smaller and the solid ends at the far right, fills up the screen and the words there and it stays that way. And you can go in there and create more keyframes to fly back out or do whatever else you want to do. But as I said, this was in response to a question. So hopefully I answered that question thoroughly and clearly and you understand how to manipulate the transform layers so that it, it saves for you. All right. Well, thanks you for watching. As always, I appreciate any feedback that you guys put. And if you have anything you want to put in the video response, let me remind you that I'll open that up. So go ahead and have at it. All right. Appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.